are on another episode. Today, what we're gonna do is something ambitious. As in, it's gonna take me like 12 hours to do it. I am going to be doing... <sighs> this meat. We're smoking pork shoulder butt. Yeah, the other day, my houseman and I were at Costco and this ginormous piece of meat, it's bigger than my head, was on sale for $25. I don't know what to do with all this meat, or at least my half, so why not smoke it and have some barbecue here at the house? I've smoked like one, like two or three things before. I've never smoked anything this big, and I've never done anything this ambitious. Kinda curious to see how this goes, because there's not really a recipe to follow. I am following a recipe, however, for the dry rub that's gonna be on my pork. The first step I should do, however, is to separate this half. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Drain this blood. Let's take out this ginormous piece of meat. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's a fatty. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I could just smoke this whole thing. Time to put the excess away. Gonna need this. Let's get our dry rub together. Salt and pepper. Brown sugar, garlic and onion powder, paprika, our dry mustard, oregano, ancho chile pepper. We don't have sage, so I'm gonna substitute with marjoram. It smells like Newport Back Bay. Two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of freshly ground pepper. Okay, all right. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of our sugar. Uh, two tablespoons. Three tablespoons of garlic powder. It's two and three. Two tablespoons of onion powder. It smells like in and out. We're literally out. <laughs> Good enough. Three tablespoons of paprika. Our tablespoon of sage, but I'm using marjoram. There we go. Two teaspoons of dried oregano. One, two. Teaspoon of dry mustard. Finally, a teaspoon of our chile pepper. Brilliant. Look at this mixture of spice. Okay. Really wanna let these spices get to know each other. Go on a date. Marry. Have children. Ooh, yeah, it smells good. I hope it's enough. Doesn't seem like it's enough. Let's rub this ginormous piece of meat with our spice. Here we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good right there, boy. Put a little bit of the dry rub on here. Bring the meat over. We really wanna cover this meat. Really leave no doubts about covering it. Oh yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a big chunker. This is definitely more than enough spice. Hopefully it just holds together. It's really falling apart on me. The big chunk. Really rolling around in spice right now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! That is beautiful right there. Beautifully, evenly covered. Brilliant! Now we're gonna let this sit and let's get that smoker started. All right, so I haven't brought the episode out here in quite some time, but now that it's starting to heat up again and summer's right around that corner, well, spring's right around that corner, let's smoke. Here's our smoker. <sighs> Needs to be cleaned, I'm not gonna lie. It's clean. All right, I'm gonna start off by letting everything dry. Let's light this baby. 
This definitely seems safe. Okay, now that the coals are ashed over, let's set everything up. I'm gonna place the water tray and then the meat and cover it. We're gonna try and get the smoker to 225 degrees before we put the meat in. Okay, our smoker is to temp, and now we're gonna put the water tray in and then we're gonna put our meat in. I put the meat in uncovered at first. I'm gonna let it get to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Then I'm gonna come back, wrap it in foil, and then we're gonna smoke for quite some time. So let's let that heat up. To prevent the shoulder butt from drying out, we're going to be having a one-to-one -one ratio of apple cider vinegar and apple juice. Mm. Oh, that's good. So one-to-one -one ratio, something like that. So now we mix it and we have our spurts concoction. We're gonna spray a little bit. My black in thermometers. Don't want to let it dry out. It's probably been about two, three hours. We've got a long way to go. It's really dark outside now, but it's time to wrap our pork shoulder butt so that the remaining four hours, it can retain all of that moisture inside of the meat. So let's do that. All right, so. Now, what we're gonna do is let that cook for probably another four hours, five hours. And I kinda have a headache from all this smoke, so. Now, I guess it's time to do other things, like take a nap and maybe work out, maybe play video games, maybe chill. You're lucky you don't have to sit through this, but you can see the result by skipping ahead in this video. Raindrop. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Oh my god. That looks perfect, bro. Woo! Yeah, for real. That's so smoky. Oh my god, that looks good. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's juicy. Oh. That's it right there, that's it right there. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Damn, that is smoked perfection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, this was totally worth it. It ain't gonna get better than this right here. It's like bacchanals. That right there, you see, you see them juices flying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. That's a great smoke job. Come holla at my boy, he has good meat. That's the thing about barbecue though, like, it's heavy. This is actually like the same level as like restaurant quality. It is. Oh yeah. You see this right here? Oh, I see. You see how it's like pink? 
Right. Let's call a smoke break. Here we are, 12 hours later. Our smoked meat was an absolute delicious success. I'm tired. It's two in the morning. It was worth it. Uh, it was a lot more like maintenance of the smoker than I expected. I had to like go every hour and check on the heat and make sure that the temperature was up to par and make sure that the wood was smoking. It was just a lot of micromanaging over like a long period of time. American barbecue is just like one of the most bon appetit dishes one can make. And normally like something like this that you buy from a restaurant is like a couple hundred dollars, but that whole bag of raw meat was 25 bucks, just a day's worth of work and Boom, there you go. Man, for like a very first time making smoked roast or smoked shoulder, that was great. I'm so tired. Oh. This has been an episode of Bando Cooks and I'll see you next time.